Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Lash booster and mascara. Ooh. Genie Super Glide Eyeliner. A lash booster and mascara by this brand called Genie. That's cute. Oh. Orbe Wave and Shine Spray. I actually. Do you guys remember Orbe from Mason Sumiki, the brand? So good. Such a good hair brand. I love it. Whoa! Full size. <coughs> oh god. I haven't heard of this brand called Genie before, but I'm absolutely in love with the packaging. Like gold and white, you're playing to my house aesthetics right now. So it looks to me like it's a two-step mascara process kind of product. So you put the booster on and then the mascara. I don't know, it's all in Spanish, I think. I think it's all in Spanish. And then and they also gave me the Genie Super Glide Eyeliner in two different shades. They look kind of the same shades to me. Did I just get two of the same shades? Kind of looks like that. Yeah, I think I just got two of the exact same shades. So it looks really pretty. I'm always in need of more eyeliner. Oh, so good. Ooh. That's really milky. I like that. Uh, and then the Orbe spray. So that's a nice little PR package that I got in the mail. What a lovely surprise. Wave and shine spray. So it just makes your hair nice and shiny. You could always use that. Anyway, good morning, you guys. Long time, no casual sit down, chill with me at home vlog. Um, you can probably tell already that my voice is still a mess and that is because last time you guys saw me I was bragging about how I'm getting better and I can go out and it's gonna be great Well, I was wrong So I went out for those two days on the weekend That was a Saturday and a Sunday and then literally on the Monday. I was dead like I was a disaster I was full-blown sick all over again So I'm pretty sure what I had was the flu because I've officially been sick for two weeks now and those two days was the only kind of break I had from it and I'm just starting to get better now but my throat is still really raw and really like stuffed up so yeah I'm pretty sure I had the flu because I thought it was a cold and I thought it would only be a four day thing but it turned into a full two week thing and I'm still working on getting better and you guys were like oh how do you look so good when you're sick I had so much makeup on those days you guys like concealer and blush. I had so much concealer and blush on. Um, today I don't have any concealer on under my eyes and you can kind of, you can kind of see my dark circles but I did put my foundation on there and like my dark circles were so bad you guys. It was purple like around like in here and under my eyes. And then I have lip color on because my lips are super pale as well. But yeah, anyways, um, I noticed that some of you guys didn't realize or didn't remember it's winter in Australia. So it's actually going around a lot of the um, companies I've been emailing and like people I've been talking to throughout this two weeks, they've also had the flu. So it's going around Australia, Melbourne right now, the flu. And I had it and then Kyle had it and then I feel like we're just kind of like passing it back and forth now in our house. So today I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna stay in and I'm gonna do a vlog from home for you guys because you know, I can't go out, but tomorrow I might go. We'll see. I hate when you first like use a product and you gotta like, oh, so, so intense. This is shine, right? Not hold. Oh, it smells amazing though. I love the smell of Orbe, but I mean, my hair doesn't need it because it's technically time for a shower day <laughs> for me. Yes, yes. Get my little threads of hair on, <coughs> on point, on point. Oh, is it actually a hold spray? I guess I should have. Okay, it's definitely a hold spray. My hair is holding now, kind of. Mm. Well, that added texture, that's for sure. Not bad. You guys have also been wondering why there hasn't been an apartment tour yet, and it's because I want my Japan apartment tour video to go up before my, oh wow, this lighting, before my Australia one because it just makes sense but i gotta wait for the japan one to be able to publish and also there's another reason why i haven't done an au 
Australia apartment tour video because my bed is on the floor still and ugh, so ugly, so ugly. Like it looks like we're homeless or something. But yeah, and yesterday I finally ordered a bed frame on eBay Australia because I was looking around on Gumtree for like used ones and they're all like 150 bucks or 200 bucks. And I was like, man, like if I'm gonna buy like a used bed frame, I want it to actually, you know, like I'm not, I might as well buy a new one for that price. So I was on eBay yesterday and I saw one for 180 bucks and it was new so I ordered it so that's gonna be coming in soon and I'm really excited for that so I'll definitely vlog when that comes around because it's a big big piece of furniture but yeah so I feel like the one thing that sucks about living with your boyfriend is like you can't really customize your apartment how you want as a girl i feel like like i i have to admit kyle's let me get away with a lot like i've done most of the customizing but i've always had to keep like his taste and what he might like in mind so uh, i don't know i was thinking about this the other day because i was remembering like my apartment in tokyo with kim and like it was so girly and i loved it we had like flower stuff everywhere and like flower wallpaper and all this cute stuff and then here I kind of like, I don't have any of that. Like I'm trying to keep it like really simple and clean-ish and like minimalistic just because like I wanna, I don't wanna like run this place in a girl aesthetic, but it's already kind of got there. Like look at this curtain, it's all flowy and beautiful. But it sucks because like, I feel like it's so cold in that sense. Like I feel like my apartment's not really cozy at all, especially compared to like the Tokyo one. Like I feel like at that place, it really kind of felt like a home. In comparison this one kind of feels really cold and I don't know it doesn't feel like home and then when you when you're like me and you spend most of your time inside because of YouTube like as a youtuber you don't really like have that like you kind of need that comfy cozy feeling and stuff so I've been like wanting to get a lot more things for the apartment I'm trying to think of like what I can get so right now I'm thinking indoor plants and tomorrow there's actually a store in somewhere in melbourne area that's having like a huge sale where it's gonna be like ten dollars for house plants all house plants i'm thinking i might go there and try to see if i can snag some good deals because that's the best price i've ever heard of for like indoor house plants and stuff like that so i really want to check that out and also i've been a little bit i guess this is becoming a like a update video but i've been a bit discouraged with youtube for the past few months because I have kind of, I've kind of come to the realization a lot of people that were subscribed and watching my channel before were only watching because of the fact that I lived in Tokyo and I've been kind of putting off saying this because I know there's a lot of you that do still watch but the reality is I've lost like I feel like I've lost 70% of my viewers and that's really disappointing because with my vlog channel, like how I vlogged before, it was like what I'm doing right now. I would just sit in my apartment and talk to you guys about my life and grocery shopping. It wasn't really anything Tokyo educational or like touring stuff. Like I would go hang out with my friends occasionally, but otherwise it was me cooking and me like grocery shopping and me like talking about my life or buying clothes and stuff like that. So I was, as I've been really like discouraged with YouTube lately because of that because it's like what's the point no one actually liked me for who I who I am you know except for you guys that still watch and are watching this now and I'm so grateful for you guys but the reality is like it's just like wow so 12,000 people didn't actually like me they just were watching because of the fact I was living in Tokyo you know, and that's kind of like a real slap in the face, it feels like. So it's kind of really discouraging. Like every time I upload a video, I lose like 50 subscribers. And it's like, what the? F it's kind of, it's really discouraging. So that's kind of why my vlogs have been a little bit absent as well. Not only because I've been sick for two weeks, but before that it was also declining a little bit because it was just really discouraging to like be like, Oof. okay, peace out, peace out homies. Yeah, so that was really discouraging for me. And it's like, I don't know, whatever. But then again, this is my vlog channel. This is my life. And it's not like I never had the intention of this channel in particular being a tourist or travel channel or educational for Japan. Like it's always just kind of been 
whatever videos I want, like my life and stuff like that since I was living in Korea. And when I was living in Korea and started, I had the intention of it being like, good, travel Korea, but that never like really continued. And then I moved to Canada for six months, like moved back to Canada for six months and stopped vlogging because like where I live in Canada, it's literally the middle of nowhere and there's nothing to do. It's like the boonies. So like I can't even go out or do anything because there is absolutely nothing in my hometown. So I didn't do anything for six months. And then when I moved to Japan, I figured, eh, you know, I'd share my life because um, I wanted to do it better in Korea, but I kind of failed at it. So I wanted to take it really seriously in Japan and it, the, like, it paid off. But now it's kind of like all that work kind of felt like it was for nothing because I'm kind of going back to where I was numbers wise and viewers wise when I was in Korea. And it's kind of super discouraging, so. I don't know, I don't know. I feel really weird about that lately. But I'm trying to like get myself back into the swing of things and kind of not let it get to me anymore, you know, and build an audience that um, actually cares about me as a person and not the country I live in, if that makes sense. Cause yeah, I, I guess I kind of attracted an audience where they only cared about the fact I was in Tokyo and not who I am as a person, which is not the audience I was hoping to have. You know, I always wanted to keep my vlogs about me and really personal and honest and stuff, but I guess it still didn't really matter because I was living in Tokyo. So yeah, I mean, there's aspects I, I miss about living in Tokyo and, and stuff, but there's also aspects I don't miss. Like I, I kind of miss my girly apartment and how cozy it was. So I want to get my apartment like that. But I'm not too sure where I should get things from, which I'm a bit stumped about. And this is becoming a really chatty vlog of me just sitting here talking to you guys. But I feel like I haven't done it in so long. Like I haven't just kind of reached out to you guys and talked about stuff. And I really want to, <coughs> I really want to do that. So yeah, I really want to make this place more cozy and I don't, know where to shop and a lot of you guys have always been telling me to go to Kmart and stuff but that's like like it's aesthetic the stuff there is aesthetic but it's not really my taste like I've checked out the website and stuff and I'm like yeah I mean it's got nice stuff but it's not really the kind of stuff I want so I'm thinking maybe like I'll just do some eBay hauls like try to find some cheap eBay stuff see how that goes like the bed frame that I got I'm so excited about because I feel like that's going to make our bedroom more happy because right now I feel like our bedroom is so cold and kind of miserable like, I don't really like it. Like, if you guys remember, my bedroom in Tokyo um, was really girly and, like, warm and kind of cozy and stuff. So, yeah, I want to kind of get back on that level. And the, the main living room behind me definitely needs some work. But just having that plant right there helps a lot. Like, it actually doesn't look so cold anymore. But for you guys that are still watching my vlog channel, let me know in the comment section, like, what kind of content do you want to see? Because, like... Of course, I want this channel to be about me and my life, but like if no one's going to be watching, it's kind of pointless in a sense. Like I want to I want to also give you guys content you want to watch and not just flood your feed with like stuff you don't care about. You know, if you're subscribed to me, I want to kind of like do stuff for you guys as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see. I try to do a little bit of everything. I know some of you guys like the cooking videos, but I feel like a lot of you guys didn't and I lost a lot of subscribers because of that. Um, so I try not to do those as often and also I don't have an appetite lately So I haven't been filming any of those videos. So I haven't been I literally haven't been cooking I've just been ordering on Uber Eats and dying in my bed I literally have been hiding in my room all for a whole week straight just trying to recover Yeah, so definitely let me know in the description the description box you guys definitely let me know in the comment section What kind of content you guys want to see because I do want to you know make content for you as well as in myself and stuff like that and yeah i think i'm gonna end this vlog here i've been talking for nine minutes now and i think that's enough for one day i hope you guys enjoyed this chatty vlog and a little bit of catching up with me as i don't do it that often anymore unfortunately so i hope you guys like that remember to thumbs up this video if you did because it seriously helps me out you guys know that and comment down below as i said before and of course if any of you guys are new to my channel and if you enjoyed this and want to see more of my daily life and daily vlogging then definitely subscribe because it it helps me out as well and i'm trying to get back to uploading a video every other day like i was before now that i, I think i'm getting healthy again i think my health is coming back so yeah definitely subscribe if you want to see more and i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time <laughs> bye